Okay, let's have a little chat while I mix some paint. Um, <clears throat> this is how I mix it. It's not necessarily how you need to mix it. I'm going to put some gloves on. I don't always do that, but... And I really don't understand how, in the videos that I watch of other people, how they have these tidy, tidy paint places where there are no paint drips, and there are no cords hanging, and oh, look at that. No, none of their gloves ever break when they're putting them on. I'm just gonna leave that on because I don't care. All right, so here's how I mix my paint. First of all, I mix a glue mix. Um, so I have got this bottle that obviously has been used a whole bunch and you'll see that I've marked here and here and this is about 60 percent and then because of the handle and stuff I measured this out earlier that's another 40 percent of water so 60 percent glue 40 percent water and that's my glue pouring medium mix we'll just go ahead and do that right now and used clear glue, I've used white glue, I've used any kind of brand of PVC glue that I could find. I look for bargains, I buy it in bulk. I sometimes even get it at, let's see, what is this? <gasps> Goodwill, see? All right, so 60%. That's a lot of glue, but it goes a long ways. And this keeps for a long time too. coming up on 60 percent it's not an exact measurement it won't matter if you get a little less or a little bit more it will matter how you uh thin your paints later but not at this point okay so that's about 60 percent and turn the camera off because i forgot to get water ahead of time i'll go get it okay this is not heated water it's just that i didn't have another container to carry it from my sink to here so about 40 percent water again doesn't have to be exact okay well let's just put a little bit more in there all right water is done put the lid on tight because you're going to shake this up and you really don't want, or maybe you do, I don't know. I don't, oh dear, this is all gluey so it may not close tight. Let's see here. All right, I think we got it now. All right, so I just shake this up and I'll do it over a couple of days. I'll just shake it up some more and maybe set it upside down for a while so the glue mixture can get to the water mixture and before I use it I'll shake it up again you get the idea you want it to get good and shook up and mixed up okay we're going to set this aside and use another one that I already had pre-made that would be good and mixed up so I can show you how I mix my paints And here is a glue mixture already made up. And you can see in this one, I used white or clear glue. It won't really matter. It'll all work the same. All right, so now you get, you've got your pouring medium, which is your glue mixture. And now you wanna mix your paints. And what I do is, not an exact science again, I do about, I've just gotten used to this, so I do about 50%. You can mark your your cup or your container. 50% glue mix. Twenty. 
five or so percent Floetrol, which is a paint additive. You can get it at a, uh, you can get it in, on Amazon or you can get it at uh, home places like Home Depot. to use heavy body paints. You can use any kind of paint, but these heavy body paints have a lot of pigment in them and they go a lot further. Um, so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna put about 25% of this in there. Go ahead and get it out. And again, you can mark the side of your cup so you know where you're headed. You can use uh, medium bodied acrylic paints. You, I wouldn't um, necessarily recommend ready to pour paints for this. They get a little thin with this mixture. It, you can also use tube paints, you know, like, like what you do when you're painting on a canvas. Okay, so that's my mixture. And I will stir this up really, 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 really well. And that was a gray color. I don't usually use a lot of gray in my paintings, but I need one in this next one, so that's what I'm mixing up. Now you wanna mix this up really, really well. And then once you've got it mixed up well, you'll check the consistency, which, let's see if we can do this. You want it to make a little mound and then fall in. And that's actually just about right. If it was a little too thick, you could add some water. And keep in mind that as these things sit in a jar or a bottle waiting to be used, they're going to thicken up a little bit and you might have to add a little, a little water to get this consistency again. Okay, I'm gonna call that good for now. Now, <clears throat> you can store these in any container. I'll store a few like this for use, but my favorite way to store paint for pouring is in a squeeze bottle because it, then it's easy to squeeze out when you need it. You can use a funnel, don't have to. And all this, all these containers do clean up. Um, the, once they're dry, you can soak them in hot water and uh, the paint generally comes right off with a brush or um, a little bit of work. Okay, so there's my gray paint and a squeeze bottle ready for use. And I'm gonna stop the video for now and then make up some other paint so that I can get painting.